Hello guys, we continue exploring new features and changes in Laravel 11 and today let's talk about a file which is now much more important than it used to be, Bootstrap App PHP. It became a global configuration file for a lot of features that were scattered all over app folder. And specifically let's talk about those two things, with middleware and with exceptions. So now in Laravel 11, if you work with custom exceptions or any exception customizations, or if you want to register or configure middleware, this is the place. And both with middleware and with exceptions have some internal logic, which I will show in a minute. And as a result, there is no app HTTP kernel file, there is no exception handler file in the app folder, so app folder was slimmed. Because, let's take a look at with middleware, inside of the Laravel framework, inside of that one of the functions is set global middleware, and if we take a look here, a lot of the familiar middleware files which used to be in app HTTP kernel now are internally kind of hidden within the framework because in most cases you wouldn't need to customize them. So these are loaded by default and if you want to customize what happens on top, this is the place where you do that. So in the official Laravel docs of Laravel 11, there's defining middleware, which didn't change, but registering middleware changed for bootstrap app file. So now you have to do middleware append if you want to have a global middleware. Also, this is the syntax for middleware groups. It's not the route groups, but middleware groups. For example, you may want to assign this group name with multiple middlewares in your route file. So this is the syntax now. Then this is the syntax if you want to call specific middleware just for web requests or just for API requests, for example. And this is the syntax if you want to assign an alias to your middleware class, which we used to do in app HTTP kernel. So then you can use that alias like this in your routes. Reminder how it used to work in general in app HTTP kernel in Laravel 10. And before that, we used to add the middleware to that list, get an alias and use that in the routes. So everything is now configured in with middleware here. With exceptions is a similar thing. So if we click that and see what's inside, by default it loads almost the same exception handler that used to be in the app folder. It's just that all the customizations for exceptions, so here's the docs from Laravel 11, all the customizations now happen within with exceptions and here you have exceptions object and then provide things like report or whatever you want inside of that with exceptions method. So if we scroll down, we see exceptions context, then exceptions don't report duplicates and more things. And many of you didn't even use that anyway. It's a pretty rarely customizable thing in my opinion and in my experience. But for those of you who want to customize exceptions, here's the comparison to what used to be in Laravel 10. We had this reportable global log context in app exceptions handler class, which doesn't exist anymore. So yeah, those two things were moved into bootstrap app. And if you do work with middleware and with exceptions, I encourage you to reread the doc of Laravel 11 and specifically compare them with Laravel 10 syntax to adopt the new way of doing that. What do you think about this change? Personally, I quite like the bootstrap app approach or it could be any file. It's just that I don't need to remember which file was it. App HTTP kernel, there was also app console kernel, there was exception handler. So now all of that is happening in bootstrap app and on top of that, it also hides a lot of things, which 99.9% .9 of developers wouldn't even need to edit anyway. So in addition to with routing, with middleware and with exceptions, which are considered customizable more often, you can find application configure method, which has with kernels, with events, with comments and with providers, which allowed, for example, to move away from five service providers in favor of one app service provider, then with commands takes care of the console commands, so there's no app console kernel anymore, it's kind of hidden. So a lot of the internal optimizations were made by Taylor to have in public in the app folder only the things which are most likely to be actually 
changed and customized by developers. Any opinions from you guys on Bootstrap app changes? Let's discuss in the comments below. And I will also shoot a separate video about with routing because there are a few things that we need to discuss in a bit more details there. So subscribe to the channel to not miss that video and see you guys in other videos.